All right, Paul Sackett's Good News Planet, speaking to Executive Chef Larry Kohler. Hi, Larry. How are you? Very good. Very good. How about you? Okay, good. On the Forks Catering, uh, uh, a new endeavor uh, for you, and you have a website called ontheforks.com. Tell us about it. Um, we're just, I have a partner, Mary Pollock, who's um, his, uh, director of sales, and, and we're starting sort of a sustainable um, farm-to-table catering company um, based, you know, on, on the forks. Aha. Uh-huh. Let me let our audience know that Larry has been creating signature cuisine uh, in the New York, some of New York's finest restaurants, including the Quilted Cafe, uh, Giraffe, sorry, Sign of the Dove, uh, Boulevard, Tapas Lounge, Eros. Boy, you've got a lot of things going here. And then you're working out in Montauk, uh, one of our favorite places, at the backyard at the Sole East. Yes, I'm the executive chef here. So tell what is an executive chef? Um, it's What I do is I make menus, and, I, and I, at Sole East I'm doing um, both the kitchen and um, the floor just to sort of help run things. And I have people... Um, I have my chef from when I was at Commune. He's been with me for about nine years, and he he's in the kitchen. And I make recipes and just make sure that um, it's being executed properly. Okay. Tell us about, actually, last night we did City Meals on Wheels in Rockefeller Center, interviewed a bunch of chefs, and uh, I guess it goes back 26 years, uh, James Beard Foundation, Feeding People. What is the joy about feeding people, Larry? Well, you know, it's... I, Part it, it's it's why I I cook. You know, it's not about an ego thing. It's um, what's the joy? It's it just makes you you feel good. It's something that um, my mom did. It's like you know, people sitting down around the table, um, breaking bread. It's just a it's a great um, opportunity to communicate. Like I I have twins now, four years old. Right. And we sit down and we ask uh, you know what happened in your day, and even if the answer is nothing, it's. Uh, you know, we, we do a cheers with a team Kohler, and uh, it's just sitting down and talking to people about their day and just checking in is what I like about it. And a lot of times people don't get together for happy occasions. They get together for unhappy occasions. And, like, when they, you go out to a restaurant, or you know, now I'm doing a lot of weddings. Weddings are, like, such a great happy occasion that the whole family comes together. And it seems like on that level people get together on weddings and funerals and it's a lot more fun to um, do weddings. <laughs> uh huh. I love it all. I'm an interfaith minister. If you need any help, Larry, I've done a bunch of weddings on the uh, on the oh, North, I didn't know that. on the North Fork. Yes, uh, a lot of gurneys and different other places. Um, so it's a beautiful, a beautiful. Okay, I once asked Florence Henderson about what is it like because she was doing a piece on food and uh, um, what the family getting together. I think going back to your your team caller, right? Uh, how important that communication is as opposed to everybody running around with cell phones or even maybe putting down the cell phones at dinner? What do you think of that idea? <laughs> well, that's that's a rule at the table. <laughs> you know, okay. they're, they're four years old, but there's no toys at the table. And you sit down and you look at everybody in the eye and you talk to them. It's, it's really it's uh, very, very important. So let's talk now about, about your actual catering business. So uh, is it predominantly going to be in the uh, in Long Island or can you, you go everywhere? We go everywhere. Um, Mary's uh, based in Jersey, so we're going to travel down to New Jersey. And um, our focus is going to be the North and South Fork. I love the North Fork. My in-laws have a place in New Suffolk, and I just, I just love it. To me, that's heaven. You know, the beaches on the South Fork are beautiful, and Montauk is beautiful because it's, it's like a different. Pl- it's like you almost have to have a passport to get out here. It's so beautiful as soon as you get over the stretch. I, it's a totally different place than just the regular Hampton. The Hamptons are beautiful too, but it's like a little bit. Um, I'm not as fancy as the Hamptons, um, yeah. but I, I love the Forks, and that, like I said, that's our focus. But um, you know, when the summer's not here, we're going to hopefully get uh, corporate corporate uh, parties in the city, and um, you know, house parties wherever wherever anybody is. So now to uh, uh, to to take on a uh, say say a corporate event, okay? So yeah. how, what 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 are some of the the, the keys in making that a success? That, that's just making sure that everybody stays tidy and they don't drop anything on anybody. <laughs> 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 the, the expectations are very different. Um, for me, it's a lot easier um, than doing a wedding 
you know, it's it's a totally different. It's usually a cocktail party, you know, past hors d'oeuvres, and it's um, it's it's a much easier uh, service for for me, you know. Mm-hmm. But, but the joy of doing a wedding is just, you know, it's a very different thing. One is like let's try to make some money, and then the other one, you know, every time I see see the bride, I cry. So. <laughs> What are some of the signature? What kind of the? I'm sure over these years you've made a few different kinds of dishes that you would say are, are your own. In fact, uh, let, let's put it this way: a rising star of American cuisine since James Baird Foundation. Cooking here is uh, very assured with a fine sense of balance and admirable restraint. Said William Grimes, New York Times. I got here a quote from the Daily News: Eric Asimov, the food is more than enticing. At the uh, homage to uh, Latin Latin America. Oh, so what's this Latin America thing? Uh, when I was, I, I did a couple of restaurants. One's called Boulevard, that um, Santo Group, who in sign of the Dove in Arizona Tour 6, we opened up a restaurant called Boulevard. And mm-hmm. I was a chef, and uh, they sent me down to Peru for a little bit, and, you know, ate around for ceviches, and came back, and we opened up Boulevard, um, which was a, was a great, like, the idea was an Argentinian steakhouse um, that had great ceviches. And uh, it's, just, it's just a really fun, fresh way to cook. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, then I also went to um, uh, I had a restaurant called Camino Store which was more focused in Colombia I uh, went down there for a little bit and uh, sort of ate around as well and then came back it's just, it's just fun I mean it's, it's simple what I what I like to do like I, I like su- um, sushi sashimi I just think it's really simple when it's like really sim- simple simple stuff mm-hmm. when I was at the Quilted Draft um Barry Wine said, you know, don't make a carrot into something else. So if I could use two ingredients to make something that I think is delicious, I don't use three. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. It's, instead of um, masking something, you try to enhance it. And, you know, I think that's what the balance and restraint is. Cause I, I, it's just simple. It, at the backyard, we take a piece of fish that I get some. Um, from Gosman's, you know, and I go and I look at the fish, and it's like perfect fish, and we grill it, and I put olive oil and lemon on it, and mm-hmm. herbs. It's like, but there's there's nothing to it, and everybody's it's very light and clean, and really it's it's just not fancy, especially here. It works, but the way I cook works really well here, because it is how I cook at home. You know, it's simple, fresh, and uh, very straightforward. If I, I can get away with salt and pepper, I don't add anything else to it. Interesting, interesting. Well, I think you're a straight and forward guy. I'm sure you're very successful. Well, look at the names of the restaurants. I mean, you've been in some of the most famous restaurants in the world and uh, um, and a very uh, enthralled. Actually, I had my honeymoon in the uh, old uh, Shepherd's Neck Inn, which is now Soleil. Uh, <laughs> I used to do the marketing <laughs> there, which uh, you might not know, but I, because so, I'm so plugged into the, the Montauk area. And uh, what I wanted to say about your the Soleil and the, and the people involved with it is that uh, they're do-gooders. You're out there with the Montauk Community Playhouse. I know you're going to vent there on the 26th. Um, yep. And uh, that's good news, and uh, we have good news Montauk. So, uh, and we're, we're doing the summer solstice this coming Friday. Right, right. You which got is, a whole you know, we're gonna, which you is got also, we're, you know, we're donating. Um, it's $25 for the ticket, and then, you know, we're donating everything to uh, – I don't even know where it's going. <laughs> but that's, they're, they're part of the community. Their, their kids go to this. They have three children in the um, school district, school right. system, and you know they're they've been here since they bought it. They moved here from mm-hmm. New York, and you know they're they love it here. They they feel that they're um, they fr- they're from here. You know. Yes, so. I I have the same feeling. I'm in the Montauk Manor, and uh, and uh, actually at one point we talked about. Buying <laughs> Shepherd's Neck in because oh, it, right? it's such a yeah. Um, I was helping them sell it. Uh, I it's a beautiful place and the gardens over there. George Hammer who used to own it. Took uh, ex, you know extraordinary care about the uh, the nature. Um, oh yeah. It's, it's, I know I've been at your place as well now since it's fixed up a little bit differently um, and it's gorgeous. You did a great job out there. Yeah, they they they, they, they care. The whole thing, you know, and they spray with, like, garlic instead of um, something that's going to kill the ground, you know. <laughs> so it's sprayed for for um, insects, but it's it's all 
sort of a natural. They 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 really try to to do the right thing all the time. Uh huh. Well. well, that's that's good to know, and especially since since we're out there and uh, uh, planning on retiring even out there. So uh, yeah, a little yeah. combination of Manhattan and Montauk. I don't know. I don't know if I need anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's all good. So, uh, well, I got to get my uh, four-year-old grandson and uh, grandkids uh, tied up with yours. And we'll yeah, set a play. Fun. You want to set a play date now, Larry? Or, uh... yeah, let's do it. We'll all meet up here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all meet in Salt Lake. <laughs> so it's all good. Well, congratulations. So when people want to now, and you have a website, they want to uh, order some some uh, some catering and sit down with you, and uh, where well, you go and meet with them and uh, take it from there. Yeah, exactly. Because we're really not cookie cutter. I mean, everybody wants lists, but lists are going to bore me. And um, what I do is I sit down with somebody, find out what they like and they don't like. They have like sample menus to sort of get an idea of what On the Forks does. Mm -hmm. And then I sit down with them and we make it customized to them and, you know, figure out what things cost. And But uh, everything's on the website. And, uh, you know, they could call Mary is going to be the first contact. So if okay. they want to start talking about a party, they should talk to Mary. And if they want to talk about food, they don't have to talk to Mary. They could call me. <laughs> okay. Well, she knows the food business, too, I think. So the combination, I think, is uh, Dynamo. Uh, I'm, I'm really honored to get a chance to speak with you. Let me ask you one last question, uh, Larry. Yes. What's good news for you? Uh, you know what? What's, what's good news is we're getting tons. The North Fork, everything's growing, and they're starting to pick everything. And the uh, ocean is starting to like produce tons of stuff for us too there's lots and lots of fresh fruit out in the forks beautiful all right fresh is good larry thank okay. you very much for sharing good news with us okay thank you take care okay bye-bye